Hey everyone, so have you ever wanted a product so bad that the mere act of whether or not you can pre-order it is extremely frustrating? That's the way it feels for me right now with the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition, the SNES Classic Edition. We know it's coming. We know it's releasing in a few months. We know it's going to be supposedly in in higher demand, maybe than the original NES Classic Edition. But we know that Nintendo is going to be providing more units for it than they did for the original, uh, just based on their experience. And that sounds fine. That sounds dandy. But one thing in the United States that's been happening is it's been nearly impossible to find a pre-order of it. It's almost like no one's taking pre-orders. See, last year, basically as soon as the NES Classic Edition was announced, like same day or next day, there was pre-orders available. Well, with the SNES Classic Edition, that hasn't been happening. Except for Walmart. So, out of nowhere the other day, Walmart put up pre-orders for the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic Edition. And that's that's fine. That's great. Everything sounds wonderful. Except that it didn't go off without a hitch. Outside of the fact that, again, these retailers keep releasing pre-orders without giving you any information, right? There's no, there's no warning that, hey, we're going to have pre-orders opening up for this tonight. It's just it's really frustrating. There are a lot of people that miss out on pre-orders because of it. The pre-orders for this surprisingly lasted a long time. In in the past, the pre-orders, you know, for something like this, especially at one retailer, will be done in five minutes. And I was able to pre-order a unit, you know, for three straight hours. Now, I personally did not pre-order a unit because something felt fishy to me that these pre-orders were available at Walmart while no one else did it. And it turns out maybe it was good for me to do that or to not pre-order from it because it sounds like potentially the pre-orders for the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic Edition went up by mistake. And I say this because there are many, many reports, many Reddit threads, many people complaining on forums that their order was canceled. Some of them claim it's canceled because they entered the wrong uh, credit card information and they weren't given an opportunity to re-enter the credit card information to get the right stuff. Some people didn't have enough money in their bank when they went to pre-order it because a lot of times, you know, like on Amazon, when you pre-order an item, you don't have to pay for it right then. It just kind of does a check to see if you even have money and then it won't charge you until the item ships, which I think is totally fine because they don't want people hogging up pre-orders that really can't afford it and aren't going to be able to pay for it when it comes time to pay the the, the bill so that's fine like whatever that that's people having their own issues with their finances uh trying to pre-order this thing without any warning okay fine you know that's one reason i didn't pre-order it i didn't want to tie up any of my current finances in it or have to pay pay for it right now when i you know, i can't afford it right now i could probably afford it by the time it comes out but today no not really so whatever like that's all on individuals, but there's other people that have just had it canceled because you know they reportedly Walmart oversold the amount of stock that they're going to have, so Walmart's just canceling. And one representative said that uh, to someone that the pre-orders weren't even supposed to be up yet, so they're going to be canceling all of the pre-orders and, and refunding anyone they charged. Uh, well, other representatives are saying, yeah, well, you know, it was a mistake, but we are going to have them available anyway, so we're just going to let the pre-order stand. And right now, there are people who still have pre-orders that haven't been canceled, while there's a large number of people that have had them canceled. I... I don't know what's going on. It sounds crazy. I'm glad I avoided that whole situation uh, and will be relying on hopefully Amazon or someone else uh, if they get pre-orders up because this is something interesting to talk about. The fact that pre-orders don't exist already is really, really fishy. But the fact that one retailer accidentally put it up, that led to people talking to Target, right? And they asked Target. You know, Target put up a thing saying, hey, Super Nintendo Classic comes out, you know, look forward to pre-ordering. And now like Target is saying, oh, wait, you can't pre-order. And they're saying, oh, wait, well, we don't have any news on pre-ordering, but we do know, hey, you'll be able to pre-order the system, quote unquote, soon. Please keep checking our website. And they said all this on Twitter. And it's all frustrating to me because it doesn't answer the question people have. Here's the bottom line. A lot of people want the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic Edition, even at the price tag of $79.99. They want it. They want those 21 games. They see value in it. This all hitting before there's even a virtual console on Switch makes it an even more appealing prospect. Plus, you know, you have nostalgia and the fact that, man, the Super Nintendo, in my opinion, has like the best game lineup ever. And the game lineup on the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic Edition is pristine. Yes, there's titles I wish it had, but I'm sure there's titles that you guys wish it had that I don't care for. So it is what it is. It, it's fantastic. I like it. I want one. They did their job. They're, and they're giving me two controllers in the box. That, that's fantastic. But 
the fact that there's all these issues with pre-orders already makes me wonder if they just shouldn't do pre-orders at all. Uh, and I know that sucks because that means day one when it comes out, you better be there. You better be online refreshing all these websites at midnight. You better be waiting out at those retailers. But again, to me, that's a better solution than what's happening now where it feels very unfair because we all know when the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic Edition is coming out. We can all call our local retailers and find out, are you going to do a midnight launch for this system? Are you you know, going to uh, allow us to stand in line and camp out? Like We can find out ahead of time, ask off work, and plan our lives around uh, a day one release, even if you know, plan our lives around staying up till midnight with all the various sites open, hitting that refresh button and getting those orders in. It gives everyone a fair chance to attempt to get it. And I know we can crash websites and this and that, and that ends up being a frustrating experience as well, but at least if that happened to me and I wasn't able to get one, I could say, hey, look, at least I had an equal shot at it like everybody else to get it before the site crashed or before whatever happened, happened or I could have camped out. Instead, the pre-orders went up randomly for Walmart, and now they're not taking them down. They're not canceling all the orders. Who knows what's going on? Uh, Target now says they're going to have pre-orders going up soon, but you think they're going to announce it. You think they're going to give everyone a warning when it's going to come up. Uh, Amazon's probably going to eventually get pre-orders. You know, GameStop, all the major retailers are going to start having pre-orders. But it feels like there's not going to be any announcements. And if there is an announcement, right, it'll come in the form of like a press release email. Like GameStop could send me an email being like, hey, come pre-order the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Except the problem is it will have probably already been available for pre-order for several hours and be sold out before I even get the email in my inbox. And that's, that's kind of the issue we run into here is that I don't mind when things are available for pre-order and they sell out right away. My issue is that there isn't any warning given to consumers so they can plan accordingly. Even if you can't get off work, you can plan to have your break around the time that something was going to happen. Or you could check your phone quick and hit that Amazon shopping cart for like three seconds, you know, as, as you take a yawn break or, or a bathroom break or whatever the case may be, depending on what your job is. Uh, it, it's, it's a frustrating thing that... Uh, the NES Classic Edition turned some people off from even attempting to get the, the SNES Classic Edition. And that's sad because I think the desire to have these systems is, is really, really high. And there has to be a better way to do this. There is a better way to do this. And again, it looks like the situation is going to be even worse. Um, my only hope is that my local GameStop or Walmart is going to have units of it available for retail day one, or they will allow me to pre-order uh, units coming to the store, um, you know, right away like I was able to do for Breath of the Wild. Like when they announced Breath of the Wild, it was pre-orders will be available. You can go online and get them now. But if those pre-orders sold out like the moment the game was announced, you could instead go to the store the next day at opening and pre-order in person. And that at least gave people hours, like 12 hours notice to be like, hey, look, you know, you can you can plan accordingly versus I was at work. I didn't even know the thing was available. I came home. It's sold out. I'm mad. That's what happened with Walmart. It's probably going to happen with Target and GameStop and Amazon. It's just a frustrating experience. I know pre-order culture is, you know, not, not always something that people subscribe to, but in the world of Nintendo, they've really made pre-order culture matter. Um, imagine that you're not some you're someone who didn't pre-order a Switch. Even if you ended up getting the Switch, you know, how long did you have to wait? How hard was the process? Some of you might have got lucky and just walked in the store and there happened to be one there. But I know many friends who, you know, call around and refresh and they're still trying to get one. It's a frustrating experience if you didn't have one pre-ordered because they were under the assumption that, yeah, I can't get one day one or week one, but by the end of March, I should be able to find them on the store shelves, right? Well, no. And the Super Nintendo Classic Edition is even worse because we know it's going to be another limited run. And there probably will not be enough units for every single person who wants one. And we this is before we even get to the scalper market. So uh, it is what it is. I'm just frustrated already. And I haven't even attempted to pre-order one yet. So... Anyways, you guys let me know how you think they should handle the pre-order situation uh, or if they should just not have pre-orders available for the system at all. Uh, let me know your ideas down in the comments below. As always, I am Nathaniel Rufflejantz from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. Otherwise, folks, I will catch you in the next one.